All right, so here's part two of the Lenovo Z50-70. Um, so I was just cleaning it up a little bit, but anyways, uh, people kept calling, so that's why I, I kind of had to stop the video. Um, I need a separate thing for that, but I don't want people, I don't want to record my phone calls <laughs> for my videos, so either way, I kind of have to stop the video, I guess. Um, anyways, so we'll disconnect the optical disk drive cable here, and then we'll also disconnect this, which is for the SD card reader. Um, I'm not sure if liquid's under here, so I'm going to remove it. There's one screw holding it in right here. So once you remove that screw, you can lift it up. I'm just looking underneath. They do like use an adhesive to hold it down here, so I don't want to peel that off. Um, if you do peel it up, um, try to peel it so that the cable stays flat. You don't want to like f fold the cable over because you can damage it that way. All right. So I'm going to remove the speaker connector here. So there's the two wings. Just grab it, wiggle it slowly, and it'll eventually pop out. All right. Then you got, here you can see the two speakers. They're basically just mounted with little rubber tabs so that you can pull it up. Um, it looks like it's caught underneath the motherboard here. So to remove this speaker, you do have to take this um, thing out. And then to remove this one, you have to take the motherboard out. But um, all right, let's move remove the motherboard. So there's one screw up here. All right, hopefully you can see all the screws I'm going to be removing. There's, you don't have to remove those two screws. There's one screw down here. All right. And then there's one screw over here. I believe that's all the screws left that are holding the board in place because the rest were held in place from the other side. All right, so here you go. You can see it pops up just like that. All right, so now we can see the whole motherboard. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to this build. Um, there's also the screen if you need to replace it. This frame just pops out. Um, I have other videos with screen replacements. Um, you can watch those because it's a very similar, very common um, style of screen replacement. Um, and then the hinges, of course, you just take them out and the whole screen will pop up. But if you do that, make sure you unroute the wireless antennas and also these cables. Um, all right, there's also the DC jack here. So if you need to replace that, you can. Um, it is held in with some clips. So to remove that, you have to use like a thin pry tool and then um, pull the clip to the side like that to kind of pry the charge port out. But that's pretty much all there is to this model. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.